the matrix has a continuous growth and a continuous transformation for us, meaning that all of what we're experiencing, whether we can stop it or control it, we're still experiencing. And this is changing us and allowing us to shed old skin and to metamorphosize into new beings. The matrix has always been a, a, a womb. It's, it's a cube. So what happens is when you're in this matrix, you know, a lot of things are confusing, just like a child in the womb is, is very confused. And you continuously gestate through these matrices and each time they're bigger and bigger, i.e. more experience, more the numbers and the codes that are being used are more complex. And so you keep graduating through these matrices or you actually um, also descend or disintegrate into matrices. We have a group that's called the deprogramming division. How the body works is, is that the DNA, when you hear the truth, it goes down on a cellular level. And it starts to work with the DNA so that the person gets deprogrammed. It's interesting because we're actually learning how to really um, change the program for better life words and to adapt more to, it's just one simple word now or one simple phrase, all this self. Great deprogramming technique is just a game. Actually, it's not even a technique. It's more of a game that you play with yourself to see how long you can keep negative thoughts from coming inside of your mind. Any negative thoughts from, you know, oh my goodness, somebody's in my parking space to the extreme of, oh my goodness, how am I going to pay rent? But any negative thoughts and then just watching how much your energy starts to build when you're literally policing the mind against negative thoughts. And what you'll start noticing is, is in a, coming to like a, a grand level of also information just as far as what's been going on with us and this whole galactic quest. But I've been noticing also that um, when you take a hold of these kind of techniques, what you're doing is, is you're actually becoming what Earth is supposed to be, which is, I guess in this case we would have to use the term love. First of all, each system of thought that the world has had is like a ring. And that's why it's called like the Lord of the Ring because each ring in, in essence is the cable or a cabal. And what this is is a language. It's the full understanding of the language and when you are or a language. And so remember there's other kind of languages. There's a language of thought which cannot be written down. There's of course many verbal languages. There's also a, a, a g gestures which is another language. So we're communicating all of the time. You have these levels of thought intertwining with each other. The only thing that is confused that, because of course this stuff is written on the wall, it's written in the stars, it's written inside of our body. What was developed to confuse that from what I'm now understanding fully is language. And until we actually learn the meaning to the language and meaning to the words, which are actually the meaning and the, the meaning to life, because that's where life is created from, the vibrations and the tone then we remain confused and actually separated, thinking we're all separate, and this is why. There are these forces, as it says in the, in the book, that said, let us go down and confuse man, and then erected themselves up as God before man. And these forces are what is called the schism, so we're already after a point where something has entered in and taken us off the universal language of all itself. And in that, plunged us in a world inside of our mind that is full of division, which where we look at every single object and have to identify it as something separate, separate rather than part of self. So, of course, when that game is over for any person, they gain a lot of energy. And the reason why they gain a lot of energy is because no longer is there basically a vacuum sucking the energy out of them. There's nothing else to, to try to balance or, or try to, to measure oneself against. So there's little action in those areas, like a little waste of energy in those areas. And then what happens is you go into functioning as a universe rather than functioning as a part of the universe. There's actually another level of communication that we're doing before we say a word, which is of course the, the real thought behind it. So. The first thing is, you know, because try to tell everyone you got to move away from English is almost insane at this point, especially since, again, English is an expansive language. You just have to understand English, and that's where it doesn't become destructive. If you don't understand it, it becomes highly destructive and highly Confucius. Because the reason is because English has all these different explanations for the same thing, that means that 
you know, it's more expansive in a sense, but it's also easier to confuse a person if they happen to not know one of the words that you say. So our language and our culture determine who we become. So this means that you have to accept what you become based on your language and culture, and then at that point be willing to open yourself up to more languages and more cultures. It's all now about the words, because words create worlds. They're actually the same word, all you gotta do is add an L. Our language, which is how we communicate, it's everything. Where does it really come from? <laughs> because this is what we're using to do everything with. So are we sure we understand not only where it came from, but also what it means? So the answer is, of course, for most people, no. <laughs> with the language, they're just using it. They don't understand all 7,000 languages that were delivered onto this planet were all extraterrestrial. The only languages that we've ever constructed on our own have been the languages that we gave to, com to computers. Basic, Fortran, COBOL, etc. All the other languages, Arabic, Hebrew, all that, extraterrestrial languages. So how it comes out with English is, is that, or English as I call it, is that people only understand it from the level of the, how they're speaking it, but they don't understand where it came from and what it means. And so where we have to move to is we have to move to phonetics, which happens to be named by the Phoenicians. Their symbol is the phoenix. And they were also known as the Canaanites. So this means the Canaanites language is what we're using now. If you look in all languages right now, especially that are being used, Arabic, Hebrew, A means ox. This is Kabbalah. The Aleph of the first letter means ox. In Arabic, Alif means ox. Then Bet or Ba in, in Arabic means the same thing. It means either a female or a male. At the beginning, it's either male or female. And this pretty much governs how all the society viewpoint is. With Hebrew, the ancient Hebrew, when you drop it all down on itself, it makes the symbol that we call a Star of David. This means that if you drop all the letters on top of each other, it makes a Star of David. So this means the language itself is actually a cube or a matrix. It can create. And that's why they said, oh, later, the, the, the code to the computers or the knowledge of how to make a computer is in the Hebrew language. you damn right it is. Because it's basically the mathematics behind how to create a world. English is actually Hebrew and parts of other languages. This is now where we get into now the meat of this. Like, who's, the, who's controlling this thing and what are they doing? Now, when you look into the deeper books, you find that they have come in possession of a word that gives them the ability to charge up their system. So remember, each of these, these words are specific. This is what the magic is too, and that's why they teach you how to spell. This is casting spells. There's curse words or curses. Everything about the language is the magic. So people are doing the magic, even Kabbalistic style, when they're speaking the English, using the Phoenician words and the Canaanite and the Sumerian words every day in their lives. We're gonna keep connecting this.